Hello everybody, I should be back. Hopefully most of you stuck around for the technical troubles. Hopefully also that restart will actually fix things. But we'll have to go online to see. Oh, my preview window is working again. Alright, we are getting online, so there is that. Join friend room. There's your room. Why my preview window is still just my overlay. My overlay isn't even up right now. Anyway, join room and refresh this again because I want to be able to see that the stream is working. There we are. Good. Alright, fingers crossed everybody. Third time's the charm and all that. Again, I need my fire food. My fire food is not giving me 50 50 this time. Bacteria. Oh, wait, there it is. I am, yes. I'm back after doing the second restart of my router tonight to try and make sure my wireless is not crap, but some things can't be done. And sadly, this is one of them. Anyway. <laughs> Let's hope it works out. I mean, if it doesn't, I'll probably just end up doing some solo hunts. Make some s solo progress. Use a lance. Ah, I don't use lance. I'll use gun lance after we're done with the Den of Aldos, assuming we can do it. Court, you ate for unlucky cat again. Or I guess lucky cat, whichever. You're drunk, cat lady. Secret zone slows us down. It's telling that so far... The hardest enemy of the night is my Wi-Fi connection. It's not to be trifled with. Oh hey, we both started nearby. And Kurt did not start in the secret zone. He's down by the tunnel, I think. Oh, the cave, sorry. Alright, you big lug. Die swiftly. If this does work then I've lost that well I haven't lost, I suppose I could combine them. But I have lost the the first part of the stream as a separate video where, you know, I went over the fact that hey we're killing level six Dinovaldos, or we're trying to anyway. Oh well. Oh well, that was him heating up his neck nice and early that time. Use aerial insect leave. Mm, no. Looks ready for blasting. Yeah, don't die early. Or late. That would also be bad. I can tell things are going to be fine now. Do you know how I can tell? Because the fight's not going as well. Well, I say that as it gets a minute. It's probably a good idea to stay topped up. His throat's ready for a blasting. Did I say that? I had to have said that. They quoted it and everything. Kurt, don't stumble away from the shield burst or I'll hate you forever. There we go. Come on, Zack. No! Well, still, getting the kills would be better. We can get the sacks from level 1s if need be. I much prefer fighting this guy in here because the elevation, or the difference in elevation, can often be your ally, whereas when he goes through to the quicksand room, it's, it's just annoying. Is that change of area already? Oh! I believe I just beshadowed off of Reaper's attack there. Which may have saved me from damage. Can you use a regular roll during a Bushido roll run? No. You get the perfect dodge kind of 
aerial somersault thingy that I almost tried to do there. Luckily he wasn't in blast mode because that would have done three quarters of my HP. Oh, he's seen up his neck already. Nice. Commence busting it. Oh, and there now it would do three quarters of my HP because he's good blast on his tail. Oh, 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 didn't seem to get powered. This will burst it. Because it always does. Ah! Also, guess what? Just DC'd. I can safely assume that my Wi Fi is just too terrible tonight to work. That's very unfortunate. I'm glad that none of the shinies were what I needed now because I wouldn't have been able to get them. You win this round, Wi Fi! Alright, well, I'll just do solo hunts, and I'll use whatever weapons people want to see. Arg. Sorry, Reaper and Court, I guess we'll just have to do the farming off camera sometime. I can't think of anything else to try. Restarted the router twice tonight. It just isn't holding my Wi Fi. It's dropping on everything, not just the 3DS. My phone's dropped it as well. No reason for it. Weather isn't bad, anything like that. Try again tomorrow. Yeah, I might do an attempt at the farming tomorrow, but for now I'll just go to solo mode and do some quests in that that I've not done yet. So I'd probably like to use the variant gun lance then, just to start with, and then I can change if people want. I did get a new router with the new internet connection, yeah, but the wireless has always been bad here, so. I'm not going to fix it. Sadly. Kill style. Clean floor and overheat. Why not? I'll do aerial jewels maybe after this. Oh, also, need to make sure I'm back in story mode. Through here! I would have said, like, wait an hour and then try again, but you won't be around by then, so... Probably not. That's annoying. Wi-Fi troubles in general just bug me. Also, why am I talking to you instead of sitting down? Like, we're not doing Ember Dino Volto, just back to my usual, I guess. I'm not doing Aerial Insect Leave. Also, as expected, not many people hung around while I restarted, so that's another reason I hate having to try and do that. Oh, we have a new quest here? What is this? It's another Zenogre. It's a villager request. Do I have any other ones? Oh, they're all villager requests at the end here. Alright, well, what's next on the list? Tigrex. Oh, dude. Possibly just a low rank one, I'm not sure. I guess we'll be able to tell once it hits me once. Aerial Glaive is nice. No, Aerial Glaive is pointless. There's a difference. <clears throat> Tigrex on this map. Oh, it is a low rank one. Well, this won't take long at least. Oh, right, yeah. Solo mode, you get two. I don't remember where Tigrex goes here. Oh, so my viewer list isn't working. Twitch, Wi-Fi, it conspires against me. Oh, yeah, it's probably changed the title. Ah, just change it to one side across. There we go. He's in... actually, he's, he's out here, isn't he? Oh, is this my first Tigrex of this story mode? I'm constantly surprised because I forgot it just, you know, where I left off the story mode that I hadn't fought certain things in it. 
What's this weird thing? What does he do? Why is his music so irritatingly catchy? All these questions and more. Charge or bite. His worst move. So people can start getting in suggestions about what weapons and combinations you'd want to see that aren't insect glaive aerial style. Also why am I reloading? I haven't shot yet. Yes, do 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 do. Charge! What are you, chicken? Alright, I get it, you like rocks. Yep, you you really also what? <laughs> you really like your rock attack? Fair enough. No mount. Bushido Glaive. I've tried that in the series before, I don't like it. I, the only reason I don't like it is because you can't steer the bug more than once. But I like steering the bug. So only being able to do it once and then it just kind of hanging in the air for ages is annoying. Never did answer me about the VOD. I didn't see a question about the VOD. Oh, are you uploading the VOD of this today? I probably will... Yeah, I will upload the VOD, but maybe not right away. I'll upload the VOD of this section, not the first section. Not too failed attempt to do a level 6 variant that failed because my Wi-Fi hates me. And no matter what I try, I can never make it stable. Please go back to the Wii U, Monster Hunter. You'd make my day. Actually, you'd make my day if you stayed away from Nintendo, but I know you aren't going to do that, so you know, I'll settle for the Wii U. Because at least that's wired. And the internet on that worked. My poor cats. Although I notice again, Medica is not healing nearly enough. It bugs me that I have to use a Nintendo console, yes, I despise Nintendo. They are a horrible company. And about 10 years behind the times. He'll catch up after everybody else has moved on. I do have a special ready, but I'd rather knock him over first. Oh, that's very lucky. I wish the Celtus Queen Insect Glaive had a tiny Celtus as the bug. That'd be quite funny. That's actually a very good idea. Why did they do that? Alright, Reaper, goodbye. We shall probably attempt tomorrow, maybe even just during the day. Like, unstreamed. Just to get it done. <laughs> Once I have this armor upgraded, I'm ready to take on... Or, you know, I don't think we'll win, but I'm ready to take on the big stuff. Oh, you're trying to make a pot, nice. So this guy likes his rock throws, and he really likes his bite. He's only done the one weaponized roar, hasn't he? Oh, he's tired. That's the first time Medica tried to heal, and she got caught in the wave of fire. <laughs> Good job, heal cat, and me. Uh-huh. Anyone else see how I skidded across the floor there? Oh, right. I forgot I didn't have the, the rocket jump, as I call it. Oh, well. Overheating is fine, too. I really wish that had more sense of impact, because it just looks like it does nothing. That'll hit me, because, yep, yeah, <laughs> because it's the bait. Break his bat-like bane. 
I see what you did there. Also, dog in no mood, away from microphone wires, out, etc. There we are. Infinite blue sharpness, at least. Nice. Ooh, you're knackered. Bushiro Gun Lance. I suppose I could do that just to show you. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'll change after this one to that. It works in a very specific set of circumstances because, yeah, you do the counter and the quick reload off of your Bushido block, not a dodge. But most enemies go through you, like if they're doing a charge or a bite. So, more often than not, depending on what monster you're fighting, the Bushido hit will miss. So all you're doing the Bushido for is the quick reload, which you can do whenever you want when you're not using Bushido style. Case in point, though, as he interrupts me. <laughs> You're only good for cannon fodder. Embrace it. Oh, and infinite stamina. I forgot about that one. You want to see variety in weapons, but like the same weapon. I guess you mean. Yeah, I'll change it to Bushido and show that. I can show Aerial as well. For gun lance. Oh, I didn't paintball him. I think Tigrex just goes through here, right? Nope. Does he go in the cave? When he's almost dead? It's been a while since for you. For me, anyway. On that subject, the daily stream reminder, I guess in the lead-up to four, uh, sorry, for generations, once we know the date. I'll do at least one Saturday, maybe two, of going back to my 4U files so that more people can join in. To get the hype up for the switch over to generations. When I said in the cave, I of course meant in here. Yes. That is a rude awakening, getting stabbed through the head by a gun lance. I don't even know if that was hitting him. I think it did. At the very end it did. Roar. I was hoping for that to get a kill as well. I'm trying to get a stylish kill and you're not cooperating. See, if I was using Bushido Gun Lance there, my counter wouldn't have hit me. That's right. Crush the Hermitors. Well, I use them as my human shields. Alright, good. So, first Tigrex of the story mode. <laughs> because I I left story mode once I got into the online. Done. Hello, Stallion. Alright, so I'll switch to Bushido first, and then I'll do Aerial with Gunlands. Might as well make this a stream where I show off all the styles for a weapon. For lack of anything better. Well, actually, there is better, but I can't do it because my Wi-Fi hates me. It is only the Wi-Fi as well, because we haven't lost connection, we haven't dropped any frames. It's happened again, so even if we had tried again, we would have went down. Do you have any idea why the connection is so unstable? Nope. It's all, uh, even before I started streaming, like when we did weekly recording sessions, where we just used like Discord or Steam Chat still happened quite often. It's just I live in a very rural area so the connection is not great in general. It's an old house so the connection isn't that great in general or you know the connectivity isn't great. I do have an extender that I use for my old connection but it didn't really seem to help. 
and I haven't got that hooked up to the new connection yet. The only cure is for us to do things that aren't wireless when it's just in one of its phases where it doesn't work. As I was saying, we've been farming... I mean, what was the level I last showed on camera for the Dynavold? It was level 3s, right? So we've done all the level 4s, all the level 5s off camera and it was totally fine. So, you know, some days it's bad, sometimes it's good. Anyway, before I forget, change styles. Because I will forget. Ooh, yeah. Uh, no, that's for the cats. Bushido. So I only got one special. Um, for Bushido, I guess I would want the rocket jump. Yeah, we don't want that. Did I miss a carve there? Hmm. Streaming. Well, I've got a good connection now, so it's streaming isn't affecting, also streaming wouldn't affect the wireless. Uh, what am I doing? E. Mm -hmm. Let's just use one of my many vouchers because that was a piss poor selection right there. I'll let the animation play. Rather, I wouldn't let that one play. The fondue looks gross. Oh, I haven't even picked what we're fighting. Oh, what's next in the list? Uh, Seregios. Seregios with Bushido style. That'll be interesting. Interesting was in bunny years. Thank you to those who did stick around despite the te technical troubles. Also, thank you to Iron Phoenix 18 for the follow. Oh, that's another thing. All those follows I shouted out at the start are going to be lost as well. Ah. So the reason you get given fish when you're fighting Steve is that's how it wants you to get rid of bleed in this one, since there's no steam bombs. Kill the bunny. Hello to Mr. Zomboid. And Steve will be through here, or Area 7. Oh, right, yeah, first Steve in the story mode as well. What's this thing? Why does it do karate parrot moves? I've never fought one of these before. Certainly not like ten of them online. What's bleed? I don't even know what that means. Oh, right, yeah, Bushido. Bushido block. I remember it's got a longer animation and no quick reloads as well. Oh, there we go, I did it. Although, because of the additional explosions, I couldn't counter. So, yeah, if you haven't seen how the Bushido block works, the animation is longer and it looks a bit different. Yeah, I did it too early there. Time is going to be quite on. And the thing you lose is quick reloads. You need stamina anyway. In hindsight, Steve is actually a very bad choice because of the additional explosions when he hits you with his shots. Yeah, because they don't let me actually do the additional counter. I'll persist though. That's pissed him off. Oh, you're talking about the 45 bunnies and dragons dogma. Still haven't decided what I'm doing with that series now that I've finished Dark Arisen. I just uploaded the final part today. That's gonna hurt. Oh, no, he goes after the cats.
Get out of here and fight like a whatever you are. Yes, please keep on trying to grab the cats. That's gonna... Oh, never mind, it was on the cat. Do a single hit that doesn't do your damn pine cones. Nope, again, the additional attacks stop the animation. Damn it. Although infinite stamina right now is real good. I'll use it against something else because, yeah, Steve was a terrible choice. I, I didn't think about the, the additional procs stopping my animation play. I think next on the list is an ogre. That's a little bit more manageable. Just stay under Steve and he's basically a baby. Except when he does his Kung Fu Pirate feet, of course. Good job. He's just seething with anger right now. Single hit attack, Steve. Single hit. Stumble there because that would have bled me. Hey, blast prop. And that was a perfectly placed trap. Well done. Wow, my special. Oh, he, the cat charged my special. That's why. Oh, I got blight. Oh no, whatever will I do? Please don't hit me, cat, when I'm trying to devour sushi. We went to area 3. Yeah, so let this be noted down for the annals of history. Don't use Bushido gun lamps against Steve, because you're being stupid. You won't ever get to do the counter because all those attacks prop more than once on your block. Which is just another reason not to use Bushido Gun Lance. Oh, you're actually in here. Thermo! Also, people who just play 4U, I. Hope you can see the difference in Steve's texture. It's a lot more vibrant and detailed. A little bit sharper, I guess, is the way to say. I imagine we'll see a limp in a second. Oh. Or maybe you won't. Oh, it isn't your fault. I should have thought. I knew how Bushido Gunlands worked, and I picked like the worst possible target to use it on. <laughs> I'll use it against uh, the Zenogre, I think, is next on the list. A pinecone is a pinecone, yeah. Steve, I want to see your eye. Where's your eye?
right there. Pinecone is a pinecone does. Oh, I'm going to have to ask again for the purposes of the VOD that's actually going to be uploaded. What do people think of Hororohororu's English name? I've forgotten it again already because it's not very good. Hang on, I can get it from Discord chat. It is... Malfestio. Malfestio the Elf. Oh, I propose here. They went with Mif whatever I just said, Malfestio. Clearly, very, very similar to pronounce as Hororo Hororo. You could barely tell the difference, to be honest. Yeah, WTF. That's pretty much my reaction. They're going with the jester thing, which was obvious. They were obviously going to pick a jester related type word. Wait, why is the speech bubble red? I thought I had everything unlocked in story mode. Is there an offline Ostoro Garawa? Ostoro Garawa, rather. This is interesting. What did I... What did I unlock there? I unlocked the Shaguru Megala, but I already had one right there. Although that one's a villager request, whereas that one's just standard. Not an urgent, though. Hmm. He'll be fistful to me now, then. Ah, yeah, you know what? You can, you can call him whatever you like. <laughs> I'd avoid calling him fistful if I were you, but... <laughs> a different kind of stupid. Ah, they can, they're free to do whatever they like. A little guild marm. Yeah? Fisto the Owl sounds like a fun night. Well, he was the sex robot in New Vegas. Uh, eat. Haven't eaten yet. I think we're just going to keep on calling him Grinning Owl for the purposes of our videos. Because we have someone who will call themselves that when we play it. It'll get confusing and it'll be fun. He isn't in the Cross series because he doesn't have a Japanese 3DS, but he did the thumbnail art for me. Anyway, next in the list was a Zenogre, I think. Oh, ugh. let's just skip that one and go straight to the Zenogre, yes! Although it was a Rathian and a Rathalos I skipped there, that would have been okay for this style as well, but I'll use Arrow against them just because it's weird. Alright, that guy, he was hilarious. A grinning owl? Oh wait no, you're just talking about like the in-game owl, I think. It, see, it's already confusing. Uh, well, at least it's low rank as well, so again, not into the high rank offline hunts yet. But that's okay, because that means I can pay more attention to the chat. Also, will this be my first Zenogar of Story Mode? Will it have a cutscene? I don't think so, because I think we got it last time I was doing solo hunts. Because of the throwback to Purple Third, he will be through here for sure. Yep. Is that an. Oh no, it's a gag war, whatever they're called in the background. Alright, Bushiro, Bushiro, Bushiro. Roar! Roar! You're just gonna go straight to charging, aren't you? Yeah, because you backed up. Oh, or shooting. Oh, there we go. There's a quick reload and you can go into full burst. I finally did the Bushido animation fully. <laughs> and I didn't hit him with it because he backed up. I oh, did it there as well, actually. It is a full reload as well. It's not just a... It's not a one-shot quick reload. It's a perfect opportunity to do another one right there. This is his third charge, so I should have time. Next time he's going to get away with it. See, this is a better example of how Bushido Gunlands can work, because you can just go full burst spam crazy. I defended 
too early. That's okay. No fist the central button in the Vegas, one of my many reasons. <laughs> one of the many reasons the Vegas was better than Fallout 4. Fistle the sex robot. He is going to get away with that this time, so I'll just let him go. You know, you charge up, I'll charge up. Oh, did I get that thing? No. You did three. That's not the rule. Monsters do two of everything. Crash straight away, I guess. Oh no. I thought since he was in his paired up for me, go nuts. Right on the wiki that they renamed Denobaldo to Glavinus. Yes. And Gamato to Gameth. Ryzik to Astalos. And Tamamitsune to Mizusune. Great Mako is still Great Mako. No, I'll miss too. Oh no, I got you. Too early. You really do have to get that block just right. Three. Yeah, I'm on to you this time. Oh come on, that was on timing. Uh, on timing, on time, wasn't it? Apparently not. Charge! Full stamina! Change of era. Astolos, yes. His name has ass in it. That was a very clever move, naming him that. That's probably what Rathalos calls him behind his back when he realises that he's with Rathian. In my fanfic storyline I create for them throughout the series. Ryzik is Rathian's new boyfriend. Let's make that the canon storyline. See, is there an ogre faster in this game or is it just me? Um, that I'm not sure about. There goes the cat trap working on the monster again. Keep getting a bit full burst in uh, Bushido style as well. Oh, it's not ready yet. Oh yeah, because I've been spamming the special, that's why. Yeah, just poster around, that's the joys of being a low rank. Trying to get the timing right. Oh, way too early, that's it. Flick has a problem with writing love affairs in this game. I'm making it more interesting, but oh, um, that really should be hitting me. I'm not sure why it didn't. I guess I missed the initial burst so it didn't proc. Are you going to be playing Monster Hunter Online when it comes out? Uh, I wasn't aware it was coming out in the EU. As far as I'm aware, there's no sign of that happening. If it does, then absolutely, I'll try it. I know some people don't like it because it's more grindy, because it has to be, because it's an MMO. And some people don't like the more realistic graphics. I don't mind them. Plus, obviously, that would mean a wired internet connection, so we wouldn't have to worry about things DCing 10 minutes into a hunt over and over. He is moving faster, actually. Yeah, I can tell. Like, how fast is he turning with me right now? A lot of the monsters are faster. Celtus Queen, for sure, is faster. Not now, sometime in the next few years. That's ages. I wouldn't mind if the other one, you know, the one with the, the worst graphics came. Although, they do just make every monster just spam fest. Like, we'll make things difficult by giving every monster a room-wide insta-kill. Hmm, that's 
lucky. I'm going to grab that because we haven't actually fought that many Zenogers. Steve is the X with attitude. Yeah. Why not? Infinite stamina. Also, he's almost dead. So, whatever I fight next, I will use arrow gun lines against. Hey, I beat you here. He wasn't happy about that, clearly. Well, he just kind of stood there and took it. Throws in over. Oh, hey, if we go back to For You in the lead up to Generations, that's mean, that means we can fight Stygian. My favourite. MMO <laughs> grind version of Monster Hunter sounds hellish to me. Also, thank you for the pop up. Apple, but I don't really want to upgrade my software right now. Yes, this is Monster Hunter X. Katiorika. Sounds like more Monster Hunter with more crap on the screen. Yeah. I can't remember if that's the free-to-play one, or no, hang on. Frontier is the one that's like free-to-play up to HR 100. I think online is actually the one with the proper monthly sub. I want to play it too. You can play it in the summer when Generations comes out. Hello to Shadik, dude. Where did I get it? I bought it from Japan. As in the Japanese e-store. This is a digital version of my Japanese 3DS. I did also have a physical copy, but I sold that to Apropos, who's in the chat. Because it took too long to arrive. So now we're going to try Aerial Gunlands against Rathian and Rathalos, because why not? Thank God have mercy on our souls. Uh, Aerial, or is that Striker? I always forget which order these two are in because I never use them. That's Aerial, right? Yeah. So for Aerial, which special would I want? Uh, yeah, I'll stick with the diving through the air because we might as well just go full of jelly. Yes, you also have my other Japanese 3DS before I bought one with the capture card in it. My, well, yours now. Rajang 3DS. I'm also loving this game, and I'm looking forward to playing it through again once the English version is ready. Not looking forward to some of the name changes, but looking forward to understanding all the menus for sure, and trying out some of the more obscure specials as well, rather than just the weapon specific ones. Yeah, that was a lot of words you just said there, lady. Rathian Rathian sister. I think it's just low rank ones again, so it won't be anything too nasty. Oh, also remind me after this one to go to some of the villages, there's people to talk to. <clears throat> I like Glavinus as a name. Well, I don't. Although I don't think Denivaldo is that much better. So let's take the flash bombs and I'll never use them. So must remember, aerial style. So if I remember correctly, I think I've only used this once or twice. If I remember rightly, in aerial gunland style, you only get full bursts off of the attack you do when you bounce off something. I don't think you can do them on the ground, and I don't think you can wave from fire, but I might be wrong with that. Yes, Monster Hunter Generations is out sometime in the summer. Best guess, end of June, start of July maybe. But nothing concrete yes. uh, yet, rather. I can't wait to fight Bone Kraken and Legiacrus. Yeah, they're good fights. So, I wonder if Rathian... This is... Also, this is a, a quest set in the past when Rathian and Rathalos were still together. This is probably the quest where they break up. Oh, see that? Rathalos has been kicked out of the nest. So, you can tell that not all is well in their relationship. Also, he's blind. Hello, Bullfango. Must remember I'm in aerial style because I really should have opened up with a jump. 
Now, can I quick reload on the ground? Let me quickly test. I can't remember if quick reloads work in here. Yeah, they do. I don't like the little hop when you put your weapon out if you don't bounce on anything. Also, I forgot I didn't eat for fire, so I do actually still burn. Not an early mount, that's the one advantage of aerial. Break up, you kill him, so the Rathian has to move on. Although the Rathian is also going to die in this version of events. This is a separate timeline. This is the J.J. Abrams timeline of Monster Hunter, so feel free to ignore it. Oh, I actually thought that reloaded. It does not. Oh, also, do I have weapon fire or not? I do. That's a rage. To be expected. But after fighting the variant Rathalos, this is just a pushover. I mean, I know it's also low rank and I'm using slightly better than high rank gear. I see as he poisons me with his face. His face was the section that hit me there, not his talons. But you know how this game is. I assume the Rathian is on the map. She's just... She's really, really angry and staying in the nest. She doesn't care. I'm glad they left Great Mako alone. Yeah. I mean, Gamato and Gamut are so close, they might as well do the same thing. Oh! Wasn't expecting that to work, but my god, was that amazing. Oh, you can't... Yeah, of course, you can't get into a full burst from a overhead unless you're in the air. I'm aware I'm burning, by the way. Nice. Oh, Rathian's here. She heard me. Rathalos, I command you to leave. Thank you. <laughs> See, he's under the thumb. He'll listen to anybody. What level is this three star? No, this is village six star, which is the final village tier, but it's mostly still low rank quests, so... There is high rank ones. No. But yeah, it's a bit easy considering I'm using online gained armor. That's good, because I'm not using a set I'm proficient with. I don't have much experience with aerial style, let alone aerial gun lines. So I really don't want to have to use a dung bomb, but I will if they don't separate. Ah, right, Rathalos is leaving. Yeah, Rathian, we all know you're the one who wears the boots in the family. Uh, wait, family? No, that just went somewhere dark. In the relationship. Uh, let's see, Rathalos probably went this way. Someone said that Glavnus sounds like he has a sword shoved up his ass. Yes. I agree. <laughs> and why they changed Ryzik to Astalos, I have no idea. Please be in here, Rathalos. Rathalos ain't in there. Yeah, they, all, they wanted a bloody name because his blade tail is definitely his prominent feature. Well, it's easy to criticise, assuming you had to change it from Dino Valdo for whatever reason. What's another more fitting name? Or as fitting name? What do you think sounds good? I'm struggling to think of something. So when is the earliest you can fight Rathalos in the village? That I can't remember, you need to watch my series. I, pr I probably called an episode Rathalos, so you don't even need to watch, just look at the playlist titles. Again, I'm using aerial style and I forgot. Yeah, get out of the air. Must admit, constantly knocking Rathalos out of the sky is very enjoyable. But again, that's probably just PTSD from the variant. I honestly thought if I just shuffled to the side, that would have missed. Please extinguish me. Thank you.
It was probably like, oh, five star? I was gonna guess four star. <laughs> Oh, he's falling into the trap. He's touching it. Oi, shenanigans. He's touching that. Unlike the Bushido counter gun lance, by the way, the aerial instant reload when you just bounce is just one bullet. As opposed to the full clip. Or magazine. Or whatever. Goodbye, applause. Oh, good. Rathian's here. This is them trying to make up by killing a hunter together. I missed them both. See, this is why I don't use flash bombs. Nice try. Here, look at this. See, he'll do what anybody tells him. Sure, I'll look at this thing that will hurt me. Did Rathian just grab me? Yeah, Rathian just grabbed me. Oh no, whatever will I do against low rank damage? They're actually both getting damaged by my cat's electric mind right now, and that's kind of great. Thank you, cat. I'll take you both on if I need to. Well, there's Rathalos' limb, so he's going to go to the nest. Yeah, you stand right in that mine. In fact, I might as well take advantage of the trap while it's here. Rathian, oi. Right here. Rathian, step in the trap. It's full of candy. I lied, there's no candy. Am I the only person in the chat? No, you're not. There's not that many, but, you know. Because I forgot to put it on YouTube and what have you. And also, <laughs> we had some technical troubles, which means I'm doing solo stuff rather than group stuff. I do have to go kill that Rathalos, I can't forget. No candy, no, there's no candy for this Rathian. I'll grab the shiny and then we'll go finish off the Rathalos. You just sit there, you be upset, I'm gonna go kill your lover. Somehow I never noticed, but why, how is Medica's name so big? Because when you use the English character option in the. Uh, well, I don't know if it's in every Japanese game, but in this game, there is the option to double space it for whatever reason. So I opted to double space. It makes it more uh, readable because for the English in the Japanese game, it's very close together if you don't double space. I see 17. Usually when I stream cross, it's like at least 40, but I think that's just down to one not being the planned thing tonight, which was the very farming and two, me forgetting to throw it on YouTube. Infinite stamina! Take this! Oh, you had to reel out with it, didn't you? I honestly thought that'd catch him. Not quite. Thank you for the armor horn, at least. But yeah, we'll probably stream some more tomorrow night, assuming my Wi-Fi works and we'll thoroughly test it like an hour before we start streaming. If it isn't working, I might play something else. I don't know. I want my question answered. So is Beerus your favourite DBZ character? No. My favourite Dragon Ball character would be Goku. Because I like that he's a lovable idiot, but also like ridiculously powerful and always does the right thing. So Rathian came to defend her husband. Oh, didn't mean to use that. <laughs> I got away with it. This is their equivalent of makeup sex right here. He's getting ready to do the lock-on bullshit. Yeah. Oh, he got the cat! No, 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 no. <laughs> Rathian, get out of the way. I just want to finish off the Rathalos. This is Cross, yes. 
the Japanese version of Generations. Don't see any Glavinuses here. Or Malfash. I've already forgotten. Horrors, Horrors. Awful name again. Malfactio, something like that. There's the Raffles dead. Your husband's dead, now you can go out and meet new people. How about that Ryzik I've been hearing so much about? He's electric. He lights up the room. Doesn't even have any fireballs. You missed my answer. I said Goku. <laughs> That's the, the, the very short version of the answer I gave. Also, I wouldn't mind getting my carves, even if it is low rank. Sell the, if they're worth something to sell. I was stuck in the animation, so sadly there wasn't anything I could do about that. Like, I don't even know if there is an antidote horn in this game for your cats to have. Also, isn't that the first time Divine Protection has propped the entire night despite me using this armour? Oh, right, and it does it twice in a row there. Leave so I can get my carbs. Thank you. <laughs> high rank 6 is high rank. Well, 6 star village in this game is not just high rank, it's mostly still just low rank. It's also the last tier available in the game. Oh, Balarov. <laughs> that lock on grab has to be one of the worst attacks, yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. Have you used Insect Glaive yet tonight? I haven't. I can do that after this. In fact, if you missed last time I was doing a stream, I have a fantastic looking Insect Glaive that I really, really like using. We've been trying to upgrade it, we've got all the bits we need. We also farmed some of the ferocious Tamamitsune off camera. But now we need a ferocious shell of some kind and the only things that drop it are really really hard very uh, ferocious stuff the easiest of which that we're going to attempt the next time my wi-fi works is ferocious gormagala uh Rathian, yeah might be up here first in the hills is back yes i'm on it right now i don't know where Rathian goes here when she runs away from the nest Yeah, first in the hills is back. The, the snowy mountains from Freedom Unite's back. Deserted Island's back. It's okay, I don't mind all caps. When I first set up the stream, which was the start of this month, Nightbot was a little bit militant about people typing all in caps, but I got rid of that because I don't really mind. Where the hell is Rathian? I really need to get a 3DS for Generations. If you wait, there's probably going to be some kind of like generation special edition 3DS where you can get, you know, it'll be decaled with Generations and it'll come with the game pre-installed probably. So if you wait, you can kill two birds with one stone and get a collector's item that you can maybe sell one day if you get sick of having a 3DS. Nightbot, yeah, Nightbot was a bitch about everything. He's much better now. Now he mostly just does the, the exclamation mark commands he made. Oh, there she is. If you wander around long enough, the monster will find you. Got a surprise for you. Fine, go! Nice! I don't think I knocked her out of the air, but I did knock her over. And that'll be your crown broken. Go Fango, I'm watching you. Perfect time for infinite stamina. Not going to wait for a special edition, it'll cost way too much. Uh, I, th I actually thought that special edition 3DSs were usually quite reasonably priced. But yeah, you can pick up like a standard normal 3DS, like not a new 3DS, for very cheap these days. Especially if you go on like, eBay and stuff. Although, you know, buyer beware, etc. 
he being not necessarily the best place to get hardware from. Saying that, I got this Japanese 3 ds with capture card on eBay. Which was lucky because usually when eBay spots something with a capture card on it, on their site, they get rid of the listing pretty quick. It was that miss. You poison my cats, you know what? Good. Might see a limp fairly soon. I'm trying to remember to get a sweet looking for you 3DS. There was actually a ton of for you ones, wasn't there? Because there was a new 3DS one, a standard 3DS, and then an XL one. Although the standard 3DS just had changeable plates, not actually something carved into it. Assuming they go with the designs that Japan had for Cross, there's a there's a really badass looking dark red new 3DS with like the Monster Hunter Cross logo on the, the back. It looked great. So if we get a Generations version of that, I would get that if I didn't already have a 3DS. These new fighting mechanics are amazing. Yes they are! It's going to be hard to go back to 4U and not have them. Let's put it that way. That was a massive miss. You knocked my cat out there! Oh, I guess turnabout's fair play. Oh, right, yeah. Aerial style, you have the full burst in the air. Turn to limp, I dare you. There we go. Why would I go back to 4U? Because I frequently get people asking me to go back to 4U because they don't have this and you know they want to pass the time till Generations comes out but they can't play this with me so they want me to go back to For You because I can play that with them. And I always did promise that once I could live stream I would go back to For You. Like at the tail end of my series on YouTube I said that's when I would go back to it. So I made a promise and I shall keep it. Eventually. Once we know the exact date Generations is out I'll schedule things better. Oh, she was limping. Why didn't she come in here? Where did you go? Oh, the dragon sewer's up, isn't it? I can cheat. Yeah. I can practically see into your window from here. She went to area two. It'll be a cakewalk for you to go back into for you. Nothing will live past five minutes anyway. I don't really remember G rank difficulty. If I jumped straight back into 4U and I went instantly to something fairly tough in G-Rank, I'd get my ass handed to me. She bloody moved. <laughs> grumble, grumble! I bet she's in the nest now. Should do an ED stream for 4U. An ED? I'm waiting to hear what ED means. Early edition? No, that doesn't make sense. Please be in here. Thank you. I do have Raven Fire ready, but I think I'd rather wake her up with this. Um. Okay. About that, I'm going to wake her up with Raven Fire. And I'm also going to kill her with it. Oh, Elder Dragon. Oh, you know, there's Elder Dragons in this as well. But there is some... What do we not fight a lot of in the 4U series? Well, actually, we never beat Apex Devil Joe. We fought him a few times, but people with me kept dying. So we never actually got a kill. So I wouldn't mind going back and getting some revenge and getting a kill against him. Other than that... I can't remember. We fought everything at least once. We fought all the fatalities at the tail end of my series to just before Cross came out. I think we did all the fatalities. I remember fighting quite fatalis. We did normal one. I remember fighting the crimson one. I think it killed me, if I remember correctly. The arena one with the huge black shadow dragon. That's fatalis. Teostra fight a million Teostras? No. I refuse. 
Not for all the donation slash patron money in the world. Never ever. And that's with the advantage of having a timer on my OBS window so I can time when he's going to supernova and I still don't like him. I'm having trouble with Teostra in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I feel your pain. That's a certificate I have a lot of. One of my cats found time to carve the bullfangle. So what did I say I was going to change to now that someone wanted to see? Oh, Insect Glaive, yes. I'm not going to do Aerial Insect Glaive. I'm not going to I don't really want to do Bushiro because I don't like it. I'd rather just stick with Guild if everyone's okay with that. It works for me. Just punch it really hard. So yeah, if you never caught the last stream because the the episodes I filmed for that aren't up yet, you won't have seen the insect live when I change into it, and it's really good. Why do I keep on going out? Oh, because I'm thinking of online. I keep on going to the cat board. Yeah, this is the one. Look at this insect live. It's a spear, and instead of an insect, I've got that on my shoulder. It's called Tora, I was told, for the enemy that it ties into. So for Insect Glaive, I can't remember which two I wanted. I think we just went with that last time. And that works. I read Monster Hunter Generations is coming out on the 31st of July. There is a date going around on like Amazon and GameStop. I think that's just a provisional date. As far as I'm aware, there hasn't been any official word, unless at the end of the EU stream earlier tonight they revealed it. In which case, then fine, but no one else has said it. Oh, check the villages! Thank you! Yes, I'll do that before I pick a quest. Ender Dragon says he's waiting for generations. So you should. Oh, actually, there's people to talk to in every village now. That probably means... Maybe the cat village has got something for me? Do I use bow gun or heavy gun? No, I use bow. But none of the bow guns. Echo means cat? No. Someone in the base village out here apparently needs talking to. No, didn't need it before. I don't see any speech bubbles. Ah, there you are. The travel cat who you will never ever talk to because you can just quick travel from the lower screen. Oh, actually, before I leave this town, just real quickly want to show you something. Because I don't think any of the EU streams showed this off. They showed off the cat playing with Fenny, which is the small goat thing, but I don't think they showed what happens when you pet the big one. Isn't that adorable slash horrifying? Hello Ashton. So yeah, keep in mind once Generations is out, I'll obviously be playing it as well. And every Saturday at least, maybe multiple times at launch. I'll be doing viewer hunts, you'll be free to join. You'd technically be free to join right now if you had the Japanese version and my Wi-Fi wasn't god awful. Oh right, yeah, get rid of those. To the other villages. I'll buy stuff when I'm at one of them. Let's go to Yukimo. No oh, wait, no, that's not Yukumo. This is the village from Monster Hunter 1 that I don't know the name of. Yeah, my cat's wearing the Ember Dino Valdo stuff. So, to match me. Oh hey, the Ignacy Captain wants something. Oh, because well, I did the villager request for him, that's why. <clears throat> Eventually you do get given his sword. I don't know if I have done enough yet. Alright, now to Yukumo. Like you are a god. Not that I'm aware of. A religion would have to have very low standards for me to be a god. Oh, someone's in the hot spring. Who's in the hot spring? No, wait, no, they're not. Oh, it's the indomitable instructor who always gives you one zenny. He's gonna do it again, just wait for it. After he does his laugh. One zenny. Oh, you cheap skate, skate rather. You didn't even give me the one zenny? How dare you? That was vouchers. Pokey Village next. Um, yeah, Maya is the god. Why not? 
Also, that's a good opportunity to type the Maya command. Oh, and I'll do this just once. There's like less than 24 hours to buy a shirt with a design of my channel's persona and my dog, done by one of my friends. If you're interested, there's the link. Oh, the shakalakas are here, I heard them. There's another villager request. Uh, no, let me just go to my hunters for hire because they're done. Yep, Poke Village is in. Sadly, so are the shakalakas. Well, I mean that 50% joking. Oh, thanks, sir, you fooled me! Look at you, you all failed me. You brought me back one... whatever that was from whatever I sent you after. How much is the shirt if you're in the US? If you press the link I just did, it will give you an estimation of postage and whatnot. It is slightly more for people in the US because I based the shipping in Europe. Since most of the people I knew who were actually going to buy something were based in Europe. I don't think it's that expensive though. I, I got told that the price for the hoodie is cheap compared to most in the US. 14 dollars plus shipping? That doesn't sound that bad to me, I, I don't know really, but it doesn't sound terrible. Uh, back out to the starter village. <clears throat> yeah, if you aren't aware, the the theme of Generation Slash Cross is four things being linked together. So there's four villages to go with four flagships, four hunter styles. Now I ate before I left the village, right? Also, let me double check that I didn't unlock food. I did unlock a new food. Oh, two new foods. So that one and that one. See, this is the problem with it being Japanese after a member where the, the new ones were. To, you mix food together to unlock new ones, in case you're wondering what I'm doing here. Not bad, very reasonable with a cool design. Yeah, I don't know if Kurt's still here, but he's the one who drew it. He's in plenty of my videos and a few of my live streams. Right, did I eat? Yes. Alright, let's go fight something with this amazing insect leaf. Did I unlock any new hunts there? Yes, I did. What is this? Tigrex outside of Pokey Village. And that's it. That's it. Shall we go there for nostalgia's sake for people present? Let's go to the Snowy Mountains. Pretend we're doing the very first quest in Freedom Unite. Do you have a streaming schedule? Kind of. Every Saturday for sure is Monster Hunter. Right now it's Monster Hunter Cross. When Generations is out, it'll be that, or, you know, for you. Other than that, I've only just started streaming from March 1st, so I'm kind of doing it quite a lot because it's a novelty. Eventually I'll settle into some kind of schedule based on what times work for people. Most weeknights, I do a little stream, but yeah, every Saturday for sure. Outside of that, it's kind of just as and when I want to. Although the time is usually 7pm start UK time. Until like 9 or 10. So every, every Saturday for months on Earth, that's just what you're interested in. Although, like, farming sometimes happens midweek. And if you're curious, I, I have been doing YouTube for many, many years. I've been doing YouTube for eight years, and I've got, like, series on 3U, 4U. They go into, like, the hundreds of episodes and hundreds of hours played. So if you're wanting more Monster Hunter content, you can find it. That. I have a command for that. I have a command for everything. Yeah, right there. Hello, Seth! Oh, as I climb this long cliff. Thank you to Majin Vegeta274. Oh, I hope you didn't hear me say I preferred Goku earlier. For the follow. I checked it as soon as I got to the stream. Thank you. I hear Bofango preparing itself. Ah! No! Oh! Mr. Bofango doesn't have a lot of stamina. 
So as far as insect glaives go, this is one of the weirdest, because my insect is on my shoulder. And I'll show you how it fires in a second. It's also got a crap ton of stamina. It's got quite a few stat pluses as well. Tigers will be through here if it's following Freedom Unite. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Alright, maybe he's moved to Area 6 then. Hello, Shadow Striker 777. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, they did put more like elevation changes and whatnot in the new maps. Or sorry, in the old maps. Alright, I clearly don't know where Tiger is. Oh wait! He just flew into a zone as I left it. He was through here. Ugh, also my nose is running. He was in some zone because I have his picture filled in on the lower screen. So I did see him. <laughs> Hello! There's a Tigrex in my map. Hey, don't you dare fly off. Stuck in my head. I fought too many Tigrexes. Oh no, there's an invisible wall! <laughs> Stop getting your arm in the way, I'm trying to hit your face. See, so yeah, I'm just using guild style. But that means I have two of the skills going to show off. Turn and face me. There we go. That's what I wanted. Whose insect leave is it? It's not for a monster, it's for a tie-in with some anime or manga. I can't remember what it was called. The thing on my shoulder is called Tora, and the weapon itself is called like Beast Spear, I think they said. Someone who knew where it was from was here last time and they kind of filled in the details. I was expecting him to turn there, he didn't. Ah, oh, there we go. Precaution? Oh, I'm not going to die against a uh, low rank Tigrex using high rank armor. It's fine. So, mounting is a lot harder in this game to make up for the fact you've got aerial style, so don't be surprised that it'll take multiple jumps to get the first mount, even with Glaive. Oh, you might be too close to the entrance. That probably should have been a mountain if I was a bit closer. I don't want it to be though, because I think I'd zone. No. Plus, of course, I have my heal cat, so every so often remember that they're supposed to be healing. Come on, you could stand the fart. Get in there. Never know you could pull a Rory. Yeah, let's make that a verb. Get the tail! I'm finding it hard to judge how close my thing is to the monster. Also, that invisible wall has screwed me over for the last time. I do miss Bushido. <laughs> there we go. Oh yes! Land in the trap that the cat laid, please! Or, uh, I shouldn't really call it a trap because it's not a trap. The monster doesn't get stuck in it. I guess, mine? Oh, I also didn't notice uh, there's someone called Ender Dragon and then also Ethereal Angel, but your names are very similar, so at a quick glance I actually thought you were the same person. Lupango, give me orange. I'm about to get one of my specials, but I can't remember which one it is. Ow. Might be dazed? Yeah, I'm dazed. Thank you for the heal. Oh, it was Herb Horn, though? Actually, no, I think that was Healing Horn. Do you guys have any advice for fighting Tigrex? Uh, generally, don't do what I'm doing right now. I prefer a blocking weapon for him, for the most part. Yeah, it's a result of doing it, but at least I landed it. Hey, the main protection is suddenly procking every other hit. I 
And again, wow. Maybe it has been... Oh, it's Maybe it has been proccing more often than I've been giving it credit tonight. I'm not used to having divine protection in this game. It was kind of like one of my go-to skills in 4U because I play defensively for the most part. I am getting knocked around by the Cybers, yeah. If it was a high, ra uh, high rank one, I would be in a lot of trouble. Luckily it's not. Also, I forgot, because it's low rank, I had free stuff. But it's all good. Aerial styles look like such a worthwhile addition. That Glaze being less meant happy seem okay. Yeah, they had to kind of balance it. Hang on, which direction is he flying? I could have sworn he flew this way, but I don't think he went down. Maybe he went into the cave. And well, what we can get while we're passing here is a quick old Arnie buff. Thank you. here. Shadow Striker 777 says, I watched your For You series and want to say thanks for getting into Monster Hunter. You're welcome. I'm glad I did. It's a, a trustworthy and worthwhile series. Let's put it that way. So my other special is ready, which I believe is the Golf Swing. Yeah. If it hits, which it did, when my Kintech returns, I get full buff. I call it the Golf Swing just because it looks like you're taking a massive Golf Swing when you're using it. Once generations is out, we'll know all the proper names. I did have a list at one point of the rough tran or the literal translations of all the skill names, but I didn't have it to hand. Oh, can't be done in an actual trap. Here, here, Tigrex, there's a present for you over here. It'll make you feel good if you're into it. It's in a really, really bad place, but, you know. <laughs> Tigrex! Over here! Look, what if I put meat down that I got for free? Look, tasty, tasty meat! No, don't snap your jaws at my cat. Come over here and eat the damn meat. What's your favourite monster and why? Mine is Rajain because of how annoying that bastard is. My favourite is Stygian Zenogre. Zenogre in general is okay, but I like the coloration of Stygian more. I like that it's a big old electric dog monster. There's plenty of monsters I like, though, but he's the best. Oh, he's going nuts. Also, I'm going to have to try and remember to carve that tail. That bite. Least favourite is Black Gravios, for sure. The list of monsters I don't like is also fairly long. That's Chicken Vera. Get the tail. Go swing with a cat, Mito. Uh, I hate Black Gravios because he was the he was the only roadblock I ever had in 4U, and he just frustrated the hell out of me. It wasn't even that he ever killed me, I think he only ever killed people I was with, but we always kept on failing. And he was just a pain in the arse to fight. Constant farts of explosions around him, constant death beams that he shoots in semi-random directions. Where is the penis monster on your list? You mean Kezu? Or Giganox, I guess, depending on which game you played. They're both penis monsters, Kezu especially. Kezu would be... I don't know, I've never really done a, a definitive top 10. He'd be high, though. I don't like Kezu at all. <laughs> oh yes, Stallion, thank you for reminding me, yeah. When we were trying to kill Black Gravios to get HR whatever it is that he blocks in for you. There was one fight, and I have it on camera, so this is not hyperbole, I have proof. He did 13 death beams in a row. In a row. He did literally nothing else. And it was ridiculous. Ah, there it is. Turn around, I've got a special hunter art for you. I didn't really care. But I like how that skill looks. Yeah. 
Black Gravios is a gigantic deflect happy fire Kezu. That's uh, one way to say it, yeah. If we're using Kezu as code for dick, then yes. Spin. Face me. No, don't show me your tail, I want red. Turn. Thank you. That'll be second, man. Yep. Hey, hey, he's not tired as much anymore. Ooh. Didn't hold down the button hard enough. Should still be okay. Because if we were, I'm good. Which is worse to you, Apex Diabolos, Apex Joe, or Apex Seregios, or Apex Smoker? I didn't fight that many Apex, but on that particular list, Apex Devil Joe, because we never actually beat him in the series. And that sticks with me. As far as like Apex stuff goes, I did have a controversial opinion, judging by some people's reactions to it, that I think Apex Rajang is easier than Ferocious Rajang. Because I found Apex Rajang exceptionally predictable, yes he hurts more, but he does less. And of course you have the Y stone crap, but if you ignore that, yeah, I, I found him much more predictable than Furious. Giganox Rose says Icy Nargakuga. Well, you're also a monster, so you're biased. So therefore we can't believe anything you tell us. Oh, and also, yes, Apex Rajang picks up the world, which is fantastic. I like that. Now when I see him just like, throwing a little bit of rock or the fossil talon thing, it's like, oh, that's rather easy to dodge, isn't it? Smell the meat. I'm going to wake him up with a golf swing. Four. Would have loved if that killed him, but I don't even know if that does damage. Yes, Apex Rajang does have one hell of a throwing arm. Ryzik in this is actually better in terms of that. He has numerous attacks which will send you much further than a normal hit will. They look cool when they happen, assuming you don't hit an invisible wall. He puts distance between you so he can stick his tail into the ground and do like a electric shock thing. Also, I'm moving my hand to indicate how he does the electric shock as if you could see it. Also, it looks like we might have some more follows. So let me go see. Yes, we do. Predator Fox 12 and Ender Dragon 2013. Thank you very much for the follows. As I say, I don't just stream Monster Hunter, but if you are only interested in that, every Saturday for sure, and then sometimes farming or solo stuff during the week, depending on how temperamental my Wi Fi is. A guinea pig thing on my shoulder. Are people okay with me using Insect Glaive for the next hunt as well, or are going to change? Because that has only been one hunt with Insect Glaive, right? I get bits that I'll never need. Sell those, keep those. Sell them so I have money to upgrade this armor once so I eventually get the bits I need. Medical level 27, Odessa level 25. Getting better. My viewer list still isn't working, so I still have no idea how many people are watching. Well, the number says 24, I don't know if that's accurate or not. The viewer list says currently unavailable, please try again later. Where would Kakashi Bat stand in your top 10? Nargakuga, um, I like him well enough. I'm not sure if he'd be in the top 10, though. God, it must be allergies. We're getting into the summer weather. I can tell because my hay fever is starting to play up. I sound like, I bet I sound a little bit like I have a cold, right? I don't. It's, it's beginning. End of March, that's when it starts getting real bad and my nose is itching like crazy. 
Yeah, I'll stick with Insect Clay for one more and then I can change to whatever someone wants to see. <clears throat> As for what we're fighting, I've got no idea. Twenty-four, it is twenty-four. That's actually not bad considering I didn't remember to do the advertising on YouTube. And also I started while the Monster Hunter Generations uh, stream was going on. So next on the list of stuff not done, two Shogun Hornitors. Hmm, I'm not that keen on them. Our cat quest for a Bracky, and then it's multi monster quest after that. Actually, I bet this Dino Baldo Villager request is a high rank one. Yeah, let's give this Dino Baldo a go. So, I'll probably want to eat for fire defense then. That would do right there. Yeah, that'll do. Welcome back, AC Nargakuga. We were kind of just talking about you. Eight, fill up my inventory, yes, good call. I don't think I've used Insect Glaive against Dino Baldo in Cross yet. So yeah, this one is an advanced one, so it should be high rank, so I'll need to be a bit more careful. Although I believe I am immune to being set on fire, so that'll help. And it's not the variant, so I don't get to be exploded every five seconds. Uh, although it has given me items, so maybe it's not. We'll see about how much damage he does to me. <clears throat> On Osoto, it uses the heads of Bracky, Laggy, Hurrigan. What's the fourth head it uses? Um, it uses a Tetsukabra one, in terms of like it brings out a big rock. I'm not sure, I've only fought like proper Osotogarawa twice. Roar. Let's get in the habit of calling him Glavinus. Oh yeah, I don't have Bushiro. That's one thing we're gonna have to get used to. I've been using Bushiro against the variants for so very long. I'm used to just dodging through his attacks. Worth it for the orange. This is low rank, yeah. He's not doing nearly enough damage. I think I may have ruined myself by using Bushiro too many times against Ember Dino Baldo because I'm I'm dodging in a way where I expect to get Bushido triggered. And it's not gonna work. Where on earth did I get white on this guy? I thought it was his back leg. Yeah. Come on, snap his neck. What is it, damn it? I, th I thought it was a Ted Scabber one, I don't know. Read the uh, wiki page, maybe it tells you. Never successfully cut off his tail solo either. I should have been focusing it down a bit before this. Oh no, I just got skyped. I'll have to see to that once he moves. Save me difference in elevation. Nope. He missed the cat, because Medica got off a heal. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge that attack when you don't have Bushido. Get away with the heal. I got right off the butt? I suppose that makes sense. He is Glavianus after all. Oop, oh, must have heard me. Try by. I thought it's for foreshadowing, I could say that word eventually, a future monster. Mm, not likely. That was a lucky dodge. 
Hey, I predicted where he was going to go. Kind of. Oh, both the cats are out of the fight. That's not good. We do with the mouth to buy some time then. Let's change our route. And the Elder Dragon would be cool. It'd be nice. Although I think people still want older ones to return rather than brand new ones. Oh, let me quickly see on Skype. I cannot chat right now. Oh, that's not typing in. There we are. Streaming still at the moment. What time is it anyway? It's only half eight. I forgot that I started earlier. get some. No, don't drive by me. I, f I refer to that attack as the drive-by because it is like he skids past you and he leaves a fireball at your feet. So it's a drive-by shooting. He's doing it again. Don't miss. Nice. Where's my bug at? There we are. Or where's my Tora at, I guess. I haven't had a second mount yet, right? Probably do. That is definitely his and the variant's worst attack. Super quick tail stab. Oh, was that his neck? No. I think I was far enough away that I didn't need to do that, but it kind of worked. Oh, I could have jumped over that. Yeah, stand in that. Here, stand here. Or explode it, that's fine too. <laughs> Where that is, actually standing in it. God, my cat suck against this guy. He explodes them way too quickly. There goes his neck. Sadly, the sacks he drops is not the ones I need. I've got a tear anyway. Oh, I've had to wear off right there, didn't I? Heal since I'm by myself. Don't chase me! Right, now you can chase me. Oh, you're shooting blanks! I want. I promise not to tell your girlfriend. Whoever that is. Tamamitsune, why not? Let's make a new shipping, why not? Just Tamamitsune and Dana Baldo is never a thing. So says I. Also, has no one spoke since I see Naruku said definitely hinting at something, or is my chat closing? I will refresh or try a command myself after he changes era. Oh, there we are. Sierra did cat face. Thank you, Sierra. I haven't even got a break on the tail yet. That's much easier to do with like long sword and stuff though. Speaking from experience, because that's how it worked when I was farming and Oh, that was not good. Is the tail still heated up? Ooh, it is. Get the tail. <laughs> that is a lot of caps. After me saying earlier that I didn't mind them, it would be hypocritical if I now complained. I 
But you're listing a bunch of monsters that you wish were back, yeah. I'm not sure why you want Queer Peckle back, though. That pussy just hides behind Devil Joe. I expect we'll see a limp quite soon. He's changing area for sure, but he's not dead yet. I can't tell if I want them back. Be happy that certain monsters are returning in this one. Nargakuga and... Whoever else is back. The guy across... the Elder Dragon that I want to fight once I have this armor upgraded. Oh, him! Leggy was my favorite turn. I really like what they did with him, as well. Made up for the lack of water combat by giving them a lot of new tricks. Is that a trap someone's put down? Yes it is. Then a bottle. Present for you. It's got candy. There's no candy. Nobody told him that, though. Perfect time to be breaking your neck, actually. Been thinking like the variant. Color am I missing? It's orange right now, right? Also, keep in mind a lot of these hits he's landing on me, they would be setting me on fire had I not buffed up my fire defense. Is Bubble Dragon an elder? No, he's whatever Lagai Cross is. I, I forget. Leviathan, I think. Stamina is appreciated, but not really needed right now. <clears throat> He's almost dead. You can tell because he's more aggressive. He might have been turning to limp right there, in fact. Oh, -ho -ho! that was a good neck snap right there. He's cushioned on the scenery. Very nice. Both my specials came back at the same time there. Don't move. Nice. Probably do we get a third mount. Should I stop asking stuff? You can ask stuff if you want. I'll answer as best I can. Gives me something to talk about, if nothing else. Oh, come on, interrupt him! Oh, although he still apparently missed me. With a 360 degree attack. Or is it like Niji? Is there like a tiny blind spot? Stopping to take a drink. <clears throat> Actually, letting him sleep might be a good idea because his tail is still heated up, so I could get a quick couple of shots in before he stands up. I was going to say feel free to write because none of my mods are here, but no, CR is lurking. Give me your tail! No, not like that. <laughs> Can't even reach the damn thing half the time. Oh, tore a break there. I think I've broken everything on him apart from the tail. Oh, I should have sharpened it. Uh, just die, so I don't need to sharpen, please. Oh, 
so don't leave. Oh, the cat got a good hit on the tail there. No right, no, Ciara's here. He'll ban you all. He's Nightbot 2.0. Thank goodness I eat so that I wouldn't get set on fire by anything, because I've been hit by many of its attacks that would have done that. Would have been a good finisher. A bit late on the waking up from being stunned there, Medica. Or Odessa, whoever it was. Right, so what weapon would people like to see me change to now? Do one more change for the night. Weapon and or style. <laughs> Mess with CR to find out where the line is to get a timeout. Not a good idea. Yes, I know. I know you were joking. Also, thank you Tyson Narcacuga for following. I not use tonight. I not use great sword or jewel blades. Long sword I technically used during the the bad Wi-Fi part, but I haven't actually used it in a hunt to completion. Give me wafting myself is roasting in here now. Low rank stuff. Yeah, I've got like stacks of 90 odd of these because of how many I farmed. Dr. Loud on steak. A little weird. Hey, he's worth 12 grand though, that's nice. Bushido style charge blade. I'm not good with charge blade. I can try it though. Wait, does. Yeah, charge blade would get the Bushido block, right? Not the dodge. That's interesting enough to try, I suppose. First though, Hunters for Hire and then a couple of people to talk to in villages because of the quest I just did. Yeah, don't be expecting top tier play from Bushido Charge Blade from me. Hey, you did really well. You got two, two whole bits. Wow. Bow as well. I, I prefer using bow when I'm online actually, so... Someone can hunt a devil for me. Yes. It goes up to an E plus chance. Yeah, I prefer using bow online because the cats go down too easy. So we'll go back to Pokey Village where apparently someone wants to talk to us. Not the Shakalakas. Oh, thank goodness they're not here. So that's another quest from them. I'll look into what that is once I change. Sad face, yes. I can use bow on Saturday, if you remind me. Couldn't really use it during the farming session either because you would get insta-killed by poor Hungarian Dino Voldo. Give me your sword! No, not yet. Apparently now there's someone to talk to in Yukumo. Shield Charge Blade is interesting, you get a dodge in Axe form. Oh, so you do get the dodge as well. Sword and Shield form, you get the block. So it gets the best of both parts, then. That's what's his face. I don't remember your name. Liver Artisan? No, oh, someone back here wants to talk again. Whom is it? Trader? No. Ah. See, that's the thing. Certain people appear in sec certain villages, and if you've already got meeting with someone, you have to leave and come back to get the next guy. That was just some vouchers, and there's more vouchers over. Where's the travel cat in this village? Now? All the vouchers I could never want. I 
to get another follows. See, are what you linking to? You're abusing your mod powers by linking to something silly. <laughs> to gigantic Gubu face. Oh, hey, look. It's the ace dick. Yeah. Oh, it's U I R L, I see. <laughs> well, that's just handsome. It's Gubu when he grows up. Where's me charge blade? I only really have one good one. Oh wait, no, hang on, I made another one. What one did I make? It's got nowhere near as good sharpness as the Variant Tigrex. Yeah, I want to change this for a second just to see what one it is. Oh yeah, it's the Variant Rathalosis. I'll use this one just for the sake, because we're fighting low rank stuff. And Bushido. Oh, which special would be best for Bushido? I don't know, I'll just take the one I have three, two or three off, just because I do. And Stoker. Alright, let's pick something to do Charge Blade, Machido style with. No, Heat first. Actually, I'm going to pick something first, in case I can eat for the element. Oh well, since we mentioned Blagaiacross, is there a laggy here somewhere? Uh, there is, with two Royal Lidroths. It's a bit of a weird mix. Well, actually, yeah, we'll do that one instead. It's a villager request as well. We'll do that, so two Royal Lidroths and a Lagaiacross. And depending on how long that takes me, that might be the last one we do. In that case, I think I'd rather just eat for attack or defense, I guess. Hmm. Actually, I'd rather use one of my many vouchers, because the food is awful. I could eat for lightning defense, I suppose. Eh, why not? I think that was lightning. I get the lightning kanji and the dragon one mixed up. Oh. Oh dear. I got myself drunk. Fantastic! I think that's the first for a cross anyway that I've done that. So that was not a mixture of food I usually take then. Oh, it's this one. Alright then, well, I assume both Royal Ludros couldn't be on the map together. There might be laggy in the Royal. Way way down. So remember, Bushido, Bushido, Bushido. Wait, I think I hear something? Nope. I hear normal Ludros. Not using ideal armor for these monsters, but because they're low rank, it shouldn't matter too much. Yep, here we are. A very small Royal Ludroth. Oh yeah, so hang on, what do I lose for being Bushido? Charge Blade. So far, so normal. There we go. Ah, it gives you uh, the red shield buff by doing the Bushido dodge. Very nice. That's much quicker way of getting it, I guess. And then in this form, I should just have the dodge. Kind of try that out once he doesn't attack on me. You missed. I'm deliberately trying to get you to hit me. Or, you know, try and hit me at least. Or you would back up. Yes, Your Majesty. Also, Axe Form, I want to try the physical dodge and see what I get out of, of that. Charge me! No, fire forwards first, damn it! Not last! Alright, what do I get out of this? I just get a big swing. Alright, fair enough. So, the ideal is still to do the block thing. Well, I see how, and then I saw how much damage it did.
Good old Royal Woodruff. Sorry, did I still get yellow shield by... Oh, you don't have the shield bash. I know you do. You just can't put it into charge. I see. So that's what you lose. Yes, how that tickle. I need you to hit me to do the Bushido. Uh-huh. Yes. No, too early. Ah, screw it. Oh, you don't have... Oh, no, wait. I didn't have the shield buff, that's why. Oh, there goes a sponge. Sorry, what happens if I do this in this move? Oh, you do still do it. Okay. Alright, let's learn what special I equipped. Oh, it was just the extra vials? That's kind of a waste with nothing to synergize with it. Probably should have remembered that from last time, but that's okay. Now, if anything else was on the map already, I would have thought it would have been here, so maybe it's one at a time. Ah, he's dead. That's true, at least you get 10 vials and it will mean I can spam the vial combo. See how fast I can kill the next Royal Ludroth, if it is the Ludroth that spawns next. Oh, already here. It may have already been on the map. Oh, I did it. I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. And now I probably just want to use the axe farm to power it up for damage. Oh, I thought it was going to spit. Thank you for the. Oh, you couldn't have done the armor horn like one second later, so Medica got it as well. I haven't used the Bushido blocking enough to be comfortable with the timing required for it. Although once you get it, you'll get it. It's the same as learning the dodge. Actually, if I roll when I've got shield farm, will it just not do it? Because I've got the Bushido block? Yeah, it would have triggered that. off his head because I've got yellow and I can't bother sharpening. Well, speaking of those ten vials, they're actually about to disappear. Ah, oh, they went just as I started using them. Spit. For now, I've got infinite green at least. That looks like it did nothing. Hey, that was lucky though. Oh, but because I had no vials when I did it, I didn't get the shield on the side. Yep. There goes his sponge. I don't mind the Shiro Charge Blade, from what I've seen of it. I think I still prefer the fact that you can synergize all your hunter skills in just like guild style or striker if you wanted. Yeah, I don't mind it.
if you wanted to stick with using the shooting style for blocking buttons, so you do just have to practice getting that timing down because of the delayed block. Simba, a fishy sponge. Is that the Lion King sequel they don't tell you about? And that's also him dead. The guy across time! Well, attempts at carving while Jaguar pickled me time to be more exact. Also, CR was of course kidding when he said that was him IRL earlier. He actually has the face of a horse. So Laggy should just pop up here, I guess, unless it's already on the map. Oh, I missed a shiny over there. Hope the game doesn't lag Iacris out. Puns are bannable offenses. Especially if they're cat puns. And that'll be him spawning, I think. There's a little bit of FPS lag there. Mm, maybe not. Move the camera around to wait for it to start a little bit. Yep. It probably was him spawning back then, it just takes him a little bit to get out of the water. I'm not reading that in Stallion, because that would be a cat pun. Punishable by death. Did I say ban before? I meant death. They even work on him. I mean, I don't really use them, so... Oh yeah, they do. Nice. Oh. Block! Block! Yeah! Oh no, but there was a second hit! So I didn't get the... Full Bushido effect. Come on, do your your new fancy spinning lightning attack. Oh, forgot about that one. He has a lot of new fancy ass attacks. Block way too early. Hmm, that's weird, it didn't trigger on that one. Could have sworn my timing was okay. Be a second too fast. Or slow. Whichever. I don't mind the general ones on the puns as much as the cat ones, I suppose. If you have to do puns, the general ones. But no, I don't approve. That gets a frowny face. Here come the spinning balls of doom. I'm getting dazed like every other hit. <laughs> Alright, well there we go, we confirmed which Bushido type you have when you have your weapon sheathed, you have the dodge. And I dodged my cat there. And that was a chest break. Hello, Dex Kincaid. It's okay if you don't want to chat. If you just want to watch, that's totally fine. That's usually what I do when I'm in streams. Oh, 
just go for it. <laughs> Maybe I could have stunned and stopped him doing it. Doesn't that attack look great? Again, he's gonna get away with attack before I stun him. No! I'm making use of the fact that I have unlimited stamina and lots of vials. No, no! Pajito! Again? I think he might be almost dead because he is in that stage where he's a bit more overly aggressive. For his death nail. I know he's raging as well, but even then, for a low rank, he has been pretty fierce. Thank you, Medica. Change of error. So the plan, as we're kind of nearing the end of tonight's stream, is tomorrow night, Wi-Fi permitting, fingers crossed, touch wood, all that bullocks, bullocks, bollocks. We'll be doing the level 6 variant down of auto farming that we were supposed to be doing tonight. Now if tomorrow my Wi-Fi is still crap, I guess I'll do a poll on Twitter and see what people want. If they want more solo hunts, me just clearing out village quests. Or if they want something else. What could that something else be? Dragon's Dogma, I still have to do more Dying Light the following with Stormkiller. And there's a few other choices. We'll, we'll see. Also, there's a trap there, right? Hey, I did it! There we go. You also keep on attacking to get into at least getting a white charge on your hit. Yeah, you did play a trap. Shenanigans, I was stunned for longer than I had any chance of dodging. The trap is useless, cats. We don't get to use it. Good try putting it down, though. And the, the VOD of the working part of this stream. I'll be up at some point. I wasn't planning on just uploading it straight away to YouTube. I was going to wait a couple of days because this is kind of spoiling the fact I've got the variant down of all the armor at a point where I can just use it. Whereas in the stuff we've already recorded, I'm not using it yet. Nice. Like he looks so adorable. I would have said fierce. I like his design in general. And as I've said a million times, I love all of the new attacks he has in this one to make up for the fact he isn't underwater. They look great. They're a pain to deal with. In a good way, I mean. Which are better, shakalakas or felines? Um... Specifically the felines in this. The felines in this because you can customise them to a very, very specific degree. And you can play as them if you wanted. So before I finish, is there absolutely anything that people are just desperate to see before I stop? They can't wait until another night? Anything with the game in general? Also thanks to Dex Kincaid for following. Dear, dear. I mean, I could show you the um, I could show you the two big nasties that we want to get ready to fight that we're not quite strong enough for yet. They're massive spoilers. There were two the two final things you can get access to to fight. I could just go into the hunts to show you them and then immediately quit out. Just a little taste about what's waiting for you at the end of the game. If people want. Although people decide that they do want those who don't want anything spoiled like that, absolutely get the hell out now. Big nasties, yes, two big nasties. Both of which I got access to pretty much instantly as soon as my HR unlocked because I killed too many things off camera. <laughs> one of which I've never seen before and one of, well, I know of because I know he was in this game, but one I have fought before. Once, and only once. They do want to look, or people do want to look. I'm not going to fight because I'm, my set isn't ready yet for a start. Alright, I'll show. So yeah, just keep in mind, these are like the final two th monsters you unlock fights against. Yeah? So barring any DLC, these are your final two things. So if you don't want these spoiled for generations, get out. Get out now. 
go watch the rest of the video or the stream if you're watching this currently. Please consider that your warning. I'm not even going to eat, just going to jump in and have a quick look, one of which I've, I'm interested if it has a cutscene. So yeah, get out. Final chance. I'm going to accept the quest now. Bye. Just have a quick look. And that's the one. Let's have a quick look. So far it doesn't look like anybody left. You're doing this to yourselves, keep that in mind. I wonder if this is a new camp as well. This is the one I don't know of, by the way. The other one I do know. Ooh, it is a new camp. Oh, I, I, it doesn't matter if I'm quitting out straight away, but people know what this is just based on where the camp is. It's very atmospheric. I'm looking forward to this fight, when I'm ready, that is. I'm not going to have a quickie with the two big nasties, I'm just going to have a little quick look at them. I'm not going to risk hitting them. So this is a Matsu. Matsu Magatsuchi, to be exact. And we'll be playing with him first once our gear is appropriate. He is shiny looking. I never got far enough into Corporal Third to fight him. But that's where he's from. There's one. And I am massively looking forward to actually getting to grips with that fight. I saw your entire 4 you series before I got into G-Rank. And Monster Hunter is one of those games that people say, how can you possibly spoil it? But I do consider it a spoiler, so that's why I warned. And folk on YouTube will appreciate me putting in the spoiler warning before starting. That's a fancy fish. I think it's supposed to be some kind of like flying Chinese dragon thing. Or Japanese dragon, I guess. Does anyone have any? Well, actually, I'll, I'm not going to ask if anyone has any bets for what the last one is, because someone, will, at least one person, will know and they'll say it. So let's just show it. So once again, this is the big final thing you unlock. I think you have to be HR 80 to unlock this one. Or maybe it was that. Yeah, it must be 80. So this is the final thing you unlock, barring anything that gets added via DLC, like maybe Fatalis will come via DLC eventually, I don't know. And this is... I assume we'll be in a camp. Ah, well, we're not in Ingle Isle as far as I'm aware, unless they put him in here. Oh, I guess he is, because this is the Ingle Isle camp. Well, since I'll, I'll run around for a second, let me put my stamina up and I'll use a cold drink. It was supposed to be a wind god. Ah, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. He definitely has that look about him, that's for damn sure. In fact, I remember in the Portable 3rd intro, he has like a lightning storm and he's at odds with Sinogre. So this is... Alatrion. Ooh, he's big. I've never fought one of these, he's got the same music. Mr. All Elements Dragon Face himself. And he's gonna be fun in inverted commas. Looking forward to him as well, though. I enjoyed the fight in 3U, even if I was mostly defending during it. Anyway, that's going to be for another day as well. It is, yes. People guess correctly. So my voice is getting a bit strained now, as it is, I, as I think hay fever is on the way, so unfortunately we need to get used to my voice straining after just like a couple of hours of talking. Thank you very much to the people who watched and stuck around even after my Wi-Fi crapped out. We'll try again with the farming tomorrow. Final shoutouts for followers. Get your followers in in the next 20 seconds. Tosh866, thank you. And I'll just wait 20 more seconds until that's said. So yeah, the plan. Tomorrow, farming level 6 Emmerdine of Alders if you want to watch us do that. If my Wi-Fi's not working, I'll do a poll on Twitter or something for what people want to see instead. That gave me so much trouble on 3U. Yeah, he's pretty tough. I see, having only ever fought one of them. So if I understand this right, Amatsu is a flying fish. Sure, why not? No more last minute follows? That's it. Thank you to those who did follow. 
and if you want something to watch, a Monster Hunter Cross video went live on my channel earlier, I think an XCOM video did just now. Though wait, no, it's a Dragon's Dogman one just went live. Thanks very much, see you tomorrow night hopefully. Ta-ta for now.